Hey, Richard. What a great run we're having here, Avery. I eh? know. It's, we're almost going to be five for five. Francis is away on vacation, so. He's in Texas. He's d deep in the heart of Texas right now. Yep, I'm sure he's having a good time for there for a wedding. I need to start off with an apology to the memory of Colonel Sanders. Yeah, we were talking about KFC yesterday and how they're sort of changing their name in Canada for the 150th birthday celebrations. I'm a little sheepish that I, I, I sort of made fun of the fact that there's nothing much Canadian about Colonel Sanders. Did you know about his history with he, Toronto? He lived in Mississauga for a while. Why didn't you tell me this when I, when I was going on my non-Canada non, on my non rant? I know, that eluded me yesterday. But he actually, he had a falling out with the, his chain in the U.S., and so he moved to Mississauga, and he lived there for many years, I believe. I know. A viewer from a woman named Tracy Lynn sent me a message right after we got off the phone. 1965, he moved here. He actually lived on a place on Melton Drive in the Lakeview area of Mississauga from 65 to 1980, the colonel. Wow. That's so, very cool, apologies actually. Apologies to his memory. Yeah, he um, sort of ran the, the Canadian KFC operations because yeah. he got bought out and it went, it went ugly down in the States. So, so now I'm all supportive of the KFC <laughs> you, you celebration. Just can't, you just can't eat much there. That's the only problem. <laughs> yeah, you know, not really. But anyway. Uh, listen, <laughs> tell me about Donald Trump. His name, shit, gone out of the Toronto skyline. Yeah, so the uh, Trump uh, Hotel and Tower, uh, it is going to change its name. It has been sold to, uh, a, to a company called JFC Capital, and it now has reached an agreement with the Trump Organization to buy out the naming rights. We don't know how, for, how much, but it yeah. will likely be for millions. Uh, you know, of course, Avery, Trump never owned this building. He just licensed his name to it, and he operated the property. It, it has struggled financially. It's been the subject of some legal battles uh, from those who bought condo units in it, but the hotel has actually been extremely highly rated and has an almost perfect rating on TripAdvisor. Wow. Travelers seem to like the hotel. The signage will likely be removed by um, August uh, 1st, and it's going to be, we believe, uh, operated under the Marriott banner under a St. Regis hotel name. So there you go. Okay, the ATM is 50 years old. Do you still use ATMs? Are you cashless or where are you oh, on the well, ATM? I, I'm, I'm usually always cashless. Yeah, me too. The ATM but, doesn't help me much on that, but yes, I do use the ATM or we're credit looking, debit. We're looking here, Avery, at the first transaction, ATM transaction ever. It was a British actor, Reg Varney, first person to use it. They, the first ATM opened in London back June wow. 27, 1967. They only dispensed 10 pound notes back then. Of course, now, Three million ATMs uh, globally. One opens every seven minutes, they say. And in many ways, the ATM has made banks popular again. In the pre-automatic teller machine world, many received their salaries in cash, and then they paid for their bills with that cash. But ATMs made banking more convenient. And although, as we say, we're moving into more of a cashless society, you still have to have access, physical access, to your funds. So I don't think the ATM is going anywhere anytime soon, Avery. I heard something really amazing that I'm still trying to confirm, that if someone ever tries to get you to take money out, if you put your PIN in backwards, this sounds like an urban legend, but I've heard it enough times, if you put your hmm. PIN number in backwards, the police are automatically called. I haven't heard. We're going to check on I'm that. We, check we'll get, let's and... get back to everyone on okay, that, because I hadn't heard that, but that's interesting. All right, so listen, you're looking at how, uh, how much it would cost if you're planning a 150 party for Canada, because that's all we've been talking about yeah. how much it would compare with the Zetedio party some 50 years ago what are right. you finding so, okay so uh, the average uh, Canada 150 party this year for six adults four children on the menu burgers hot dogs pop beer fruit ice cream that's pegged at an average $130 compare that to the centennial parties 50 years ago today that cost $15 and 50 cents the cost though is actually smaller now when you look at income growth the 1967 party would have taken 15 percent of the average Canadian weekly salary. Today it's 14 percent. Tastes have certainly changed. Beef consumption is down from 66 kilograms a year in 67 to 50 kilograms today. Of course, more vegetarians out there are eating different things. Drinking habits have changed too. Beer now accounts for just 40 percent of all alcohol sales in Canada, Avery. All right, I'm, uh, I'm one of the 50 percent, and I'll let you guess uh, which 50 percent I'm on, but a new report says that half of Canadians fall, fail um, I can't even say it. I'm so bad at it. Fail at basic financial literacy testing. Yeah. That's so me. let's put everyone, let's put you to the test, shall we? No, Avery? don't. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, a mortgage term refers to the length of time you need to pay off your mortgage. True or false? I would say the term is how long the rate is for as opposed to the entire mortgage. Yeah, I think a lot of people would say that, but it's actually, oh, yes, it's see? false. It's false. So I think you're right, right? You're right. Oh, I'm right. I okay. think you're right. Okay. Okay.
Uh, You're the business see, guy. You should I know. know. Some, some business guy I am. Okay, next question. You must pay for government insurance on mortgages when you have a down payment of less than 20%. I know you get dinged in some way. I don't know if it's a government yeah. insurance. I think it is. That is true, unless the house is worth more than a million dollars. Well, that doesn't Let make any sense. I know. Well, okay. Nothing in the mortgage market makes sense no. these days. Uh, next question. Uh, a car that is more expensive always costs more to insure than a cheaper car. No. Correct. It is false because it depends on all sorts of things. Red cars cost you more. You know, Avery, they got to teach, I think, financial literacy in school. It's not really getting taught, and that's why I, many Canadians get a failing grade. I'm changing. I just, I got 100% right there. You did there. good. I think I that I'm say. actually a financial wizard. I may be coming over to 680 and taking over business with you. Taking my job, Avery. Taking your Come job. Now. All right, Tom, you know, you're always bringing us crazy, really ridiculously expensive uh, things that people can buy. You have yet another one, and this may top it all. This is crazy. A Prada branded paperclip <laughs> is no, for no, sale. No, 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 no. Yes, $185 for this paperclip. This is the craziest thing. Uh, it is Italian made, it's sterling silver. But it's just a paper clip, Avery, and it's getting all sorts of, you know, it's mocked online. One person yeah. said, for that price, it better hold my life together. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much, Richard. Have a great evening.